Howdy friends, Jake and Judy Honeyacres here. I wanted to, to today to go ahead and stain and seal my boxes. I'm going to use a stain slash sealer from Vermont Natural Coatings. It's one that I saw the guy on Vino Farms YouTube channel using. He does a great explanation of that one. I'll explain it more when I get to it. But I need to, I'm going to take my hand plane and get the rest of this little bit of glue off of here. And any box that has any wobble to it, I'm going to go ahead and plane that to where it's nice and flat on my table here that I made yesterday. Alright, let's get started on that. Got to have tools sharp, especially these hand planes, in order to do some planing. So I'm going to go ahead and take it to my stones here, make sure we're nice and sharp. One thing I did end up doing is I screwed a board here and a board here. These are just scrap pieces I had laying around. That way, I can put the box down, nice flat on the table, take the plane and, and not have to worry about trying to hold this sucker down while I'm doing it. You know, sometimes I learn things the hard way, and I guess I learned it the hard way. The way I was doing it earlier was just stupid. But you learn and gain experience. Now another thing about this, as you can see, I have this piece in the middle here. Now what I do with that, is when I check the outside here for squareness, this middle board is used as a hold down. Let me get you a close look at it so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Here's this middle piece I was talking about. Other than that, I got a screw here, I'm gonna, I got a screw right here. Let me show you. All I do put it down right there. Now it ain't going anywhere. And the reason for that middle hold down and setting it up like this is so when I check these boxes to make sure they're good and square, when I put my telescopic covers on, if one side, like one corner, isn't quite going on nicely. I just do that, make sure my screws are ran down far enough for the blade won't contact, then I just whoop, whoop, on the corner that's giving me fits. Got that all done. All my telescopic covers should be perfectly fine. Now, they were all made the same exact way. These boxes I made at different times just probably caused an issue with that in the long run. I'm gonna go ahead and sand some rough spots, which is also a great thing with this hold down too. I can just put this box here and sand away. But then you don't even have to hold it. How cool is that? Alright, I'm going to sand and I'll be back and hopefully it'll be ready to stain soon. Alright, I went inside and grabbed all the stains I purchased. I purchased the five different colors which are the acorn brown, autumn red, Caspian clear, lakeside cedar, and sterling gray. These are eight ounces, but that's a pretty good sized container. I've got containers like that from Menards before this size. And uh, it lasts me a real long time. This one is the autumn red. There's that color for that. We'll see what that turns out like on these five boxes. Let's see what it says. They send you a few brochures and stuff if you order a bunch of samples. This is what they describe these stains as. Delivers color into wood for lasting beauty, waterproofs, and provides protection against mold, mildew, and UV rays. Exterior penetrating stain with polyway technology is a durable element propelling stain. Sealer and top coat for siding, decks, fences, furniture, and other outdoor wood surfaces. Easy application, dries in an hour, soap and water clean with cleanup. 
Available in quarts, gallons, five gallon pails, or these eight ounce samples I got. Now the trick is, when you do these, you do one coat, and then you want to do a second coat pretty soon thereafter, because they do dry fast. And once this dries, water's not getting into that wood anymore. So you got to make sure that you do two coats before it dries within that hour. Well, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to definitely do one box. And if I got enough to do two boxes and this uh, bottom board and top cover, I'm going to. Let's get started on that. They actually sealed it with electrical tape, it looks like. That's perfectly fine. Make sure you shake it really well. I'm going to give it a good shake in here. Now when I do this, I'm going to make sure I get all these edges real well because this is where water's going to want to soak in and just stay. We don't want that. All right, let's uh, peel this off. I went ahead and grabbed different brushes for each stain so I don't like cross contaminate them with the colors. Like keep it all separated. You know what? I should grab gloves real quick. It's a different color, isn't it? All right, let's go ahead. A little dabby daff. Get it in there. Oh, that really soaks in. Yeah, the reason I even heard about this is because Vino Farms, the guy on there, used this on his, and he had, his hives are gorgeous still, and he think this is what he did with the bunch from after the first year. And he's going on like four or five years now, and his boxes still look awesome and beautiful. I think he mainly went the clear ones, so. though. But I wanted, since I'm gonna be doing five colonies, I want them all to kind of be their own color. So that way I don't have to like do different designs or whatnot. Wow, that's already almost dry. I'm just gonna brush it on. Make sure I got a nice, the second coat is real. Doesn't need to be real thick at all. It's that first coat that soaks in so good. That's a reason you need the second. I'm surprised how quick that soaked in and dried. So don't lollygag when you're doing this. Get it all on there. Remember, make sure to get them edges because you don't want that water soaking in. That's what that whey really helps with. That whey really seals it. One more side. Wow, that is a real pretty color. I'm gonna go to these edges right here. Get that all sealed up. I'm gonna do a little bit down here to kind of help seal that. So I got extra on the brush, so it doesn't matter. I'm not doing the inside. I mean, you probably could, but I'm not going to. You know, I think when I build a deck, I might just get a big old five, a couple five gallon deals of this and do it in this. This is a gorgeous color. I'm loving this color. I'm only gonna do one coat on the bottom there. There it is. Look at that. That's a real pretty color. That's one box done. Well, I'm gonna see about doing the other one. And if I got enough left over, I'm gonna do that bottom board. All right, I'm actually really surprised at how far that eight ounce little sample jar went. And did both 
deep broods. These are 10 frames, by the way, so the bigger ones. Both deep broods, the bottom board, and the top telescopic cover. I am super surprised at that. Basically, anything that was going to be exterior got this stain on it. I love the color right now. So I got four more colors to do. I'll show you guys what each one looks like. We got them done. We have the autumn red, acorn brown, sterling gray, lakeside cedar, and then just clear. The clear almost gave it a little bit of a yellowish tint to it, nothing that just brings out the natural color of the wood. Personally, for some reason, I'm really liking the sterling gray, and I also really like the acorn brown. I did notice that the darker the colors, the further the stain kind of went, the stain sealer went, the lighter, the more that was used. I actually still have a little bit of the clear, a little bit of the silver, and a little bit of the acorn brown left. And I actually have a little bit of the cedar color left. I'll probably use those to make my reducers to kind of stain them to make it match. But hey, got this project done. Now I'm basically ready to get bees in these. Get <laughs> bees in these. Get right. All right, guys. If you like this video, like what I did, I gave you some ideas on some alternatives instead of paint. Give me a like and thumbs up if you just like the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all are great. Remember to like and subscribe. And have a good rest of your day, morning, evening, whenever you're watching this. I'll pray for your family, pray for mine, I'll pray for you, pray for me. God bless. I'll catch y'all later.